guys, what's up? It's Alex of Coyote Star Astrology, and this is my weekly forecast for the week of March 4th, 2019. I want to apologize for the background and this weird creepy shadow person behind me. Uh, I'm in the process of moving and I haven't had time to unpack and get my studio area organized, so hopefully by the next time you see me that will be uh, more put together. But honestly, this is kind of par for the course with the energy that we have going on right now. It's a very bizarre time. Um, and we have a lot of things contributing to that. We have a lot to talk about. First and foremost, we start out the week on Monday the 4th really feeling this Mercury retrograde that's going to begin on the 5th, but we're in pre-shadow. And on Monday, Mercury is basically at a standstill right before he prepares to station re retrograde. It's known as stationing. So that's where the buildup of energy really starts to accumulate as he slows down. And I'm not gonna go too much into Mercury retrograde because I did a whole video on that transit. And if you have interest in knowing more about that transit alone, watch the video right before this one and I'll put the link to it in the description box. Um, but just to sort of bring everybody up to speed so we're all on the same page, I'll sort of uh, explain what that transit means in a couple of sentences. So Mercury is retrograding in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is our dreams, our visions, it's imagination, it's also magic and illusion. So whenever Mercury retrogrades, it's a time to rethink or reevaluate. So Mercury retrograde in Pisces is reevaluating our dreams, our visions, and also possibly confronting ways or places where we have fallen prey to illusion or deception or where suddenly things aren't exactly what we thought they were, suddenly feel unsure about a certain area of our life. And this is, of course, where it becomes very important to know your natal chart so that you can look at what house Pisces rules and that's the area of life that it's going to be experiencing some of this unsettling reevaluation. Um, but Mercury plays a big part in this week because we have a new moon coming in on Wednesday the 6th right after Mercury goes retrograde and the new moon in Pisces is going to be conjunct Mercury retrograde. Not only that, but it's also going to be conjunct Neptune in Pisces and Neptune rules Pisces and it's this megalithic planet of dreams and fantasy and illusion and make-believe. <clears throat> so we're kind of in a hall of mirrors right now and there's a lot of emotional sensitivity. Pisces is the channel, it's the psychic of the zodiac and part of being psychic is being incredibly in tune and very sensitive to subtle changes, shifts in energy. So if you've ever gone to a party or an event with a Pisces person, a Pisces sun or a Pisces rising, you may have witnessed that if there's a lot going on in a room or there's like a very chaotic energy, a Piscean person can often get very overwhelmed. You can see their face when they enter the room, they'll kind of like, do this and it's them feeling everything that's going on in the room. Not only does a Pisces person feel their own stuff, but they're like a sponge picking up on the energy of everyone around them and they can become very easily overwhelmed. They're highly sensitive and for this reason, Pisces has to be very careful what types of environments they take on. So we can transfer that onto the theme of this new moon as a collective and sort of what we might be feeling right now. This feeling of being overwhelmed with emotion, not even sure where this emotion is coming from. And the new moon is conjunct Chiron in the first degrees of Aries, which is identity wounds. So there might be an aspect of this of not being entirely sure where we fit into all of this mental and emotional confusion. Where am I? How did I get here? Did I get off track? Am I lost? Um, is this even what I want anymore? There's a lot of this type of stuff being stirred up. Um, and I think what it really comes down to when we're talking about this much Pisces is surrender because Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It is the omega. It is the closing of a cycle. It is symbolic death. And death is the ultimate surrender. It's the biggest surrender 
any of us will ever <clears throat> go through at the end of this journey, which is surrender to God, giving it up to God, taking the last breath and stepping forth into the unknown. So that's what a lot of this energy is asking us to do is surrender to a higher consciousness, surrender to a higher order, and Pisces is water. So just sort of letting the current, the flow of things, if you will, take us downstream. There is a really beautiful transit towards the end of the week to thankfully help a little bit with all of this. It'll be exact on Friday. It's Sun Sextile Saturn. This is really, really beautiful because the sun is our vitality. It's our life force. It's the courage to step into who we are and having that sextiling Saturn, which is our long-term goals and our careers, our aspirations, everything we see moving forward, having the sun shining a light on that, regardless of the emotional confusion and the kind of eerie energy we have going on, um, the sun sextile Saturn is really asking that we focus on that and just trust that we are on the correct path. And all of this is so karmic. Pisces rules the 12th house. So I think it's very uh, unique to the individual what's coming up right now. Um, and I think a lot of it can even be hard to put a finger on. There can be this feeling of like, I feel strange and I don't really know why. It's kind of this dreamy Piscean energy. Pisces is the daydreamer. So you can think of a time when you were talking to someone and you can tell they're not even there. They're listening or they, they're looking at you and they're going, uh-huh, uh-huh, but there's no one home. That kind of do 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 that energy is Pisces. It is the astral realm. So we're sort of ungrounded right now and there's a lot of magic that comes with that there's a lot of synchronicity and there's the ability to channel and there's mystical moments and little god winks from the universe where uh things can be quite magical so it kind of depends also on your comfort with things like that how comfortable are you with magic uh how in tune are you with your spiritual practice when things get weird do you have a place you can go do you have a sense of stillness within? And if not, or if that sense of stillness is being tested right now, this might be a really good week, particularly on the new moon, which is about setting new intentions to go inward and redefine that for yourself, your practice, your yoga practice, meditation, kundalini, whatever, um, and really come back to your personal relationship with source again i think a lot of this is very personal this new moon feels like a womb it's like a chamber where it's it's really just us and our relationship with the divine um and pisces is this merging with the divine and surrender to all of it the daydream and the nightmare and the realization that so much of that depends on our own mind and with Mercury, which is the mind going retrograde in Pisces, the most spiritual sign of the Zodiac, this is a real spiritual um, quest right now. Like, what is our relationship with magic? What is our relationship to the cosmos? And can we trust? Can we surrender uh, into this new cycle? And Uranus goes into Taurus on Tuesday. So that's also huge because Uranus is leaving Aries. That's a closing of a whole cycle. So the beginning of the week, it's like this door is closing and we're being cast off into this new chapter, but we're kind of adrift in these weird, stormy Neptunian seas. Um, so yeah, I think it's an emotional purging. I think that this new moon is asking for us to sort of carve out that time, make a space, go into stillness, and let things come up and wash through us, um, and hopefully tap into some of the magic and the creativity that comes along with Pisces, because there's a lot of that going on as well. We have Mars sextiling Neptune on Sunday, which is driving us towards leveling up creatively and opening up our imagination to new levels. So there's a lot of magic 
but there's also a lot of confusion and there's a lot of people right now unsure of what the hell is going on. So if that's you, you're in good company, it's okay. Um, yes. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and a share. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you would like to reach out to me for a natal chart reading, I will put my email down below. Again, we can look at your chart and we can look at where all this Neptune, Piscean, Mercury retrograde insanity is hitting your chart and hopefully get some clarity. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.